Okay, good Sunday morning to you all. Um, pretty much what this video is going to be about, um, it's about the philosophy of science, um, which I call it on the side, that's my short way of, of talking about it. Anyway, um, this video is pretty much going to be about um, holism and the web, and the web, of, and the web of belief. Um, first of all, we have Pierre, du, Pierre, du, Pierre Duhem and Willard, Willard Van Orman Klein. Um, so to contrast holism with, you know, another kind of theory of, 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 of philosophy of science, we have, you know, people like Schlick, um, and I'm going to use his words because in his article, The Foundation of Knowledge, he states that, um, to, that a, a, a hypothesis or statement should be tested of its own accord, um, in that it should be isolated. Testing by isolating a certain a certain hypothesis, um, and the whole thing is I, I have I've had videos about about untestables and unobservables and under de un, under de determination under determination. Okay, now what that is is you know we test a certain hypothesis and, and you know um, we have certain data, but then that could, based on the, on the data that we have through testing this way, uh, that we could lead to, you know, various different, various different um, conclusions, um, and no one, no one, um, in, no one, no one c conclusion is certain. So that's why we have under, de under de determination, in that we have no certain thing that has come through through our through our testing. That's due due to unobservables and, and, and untestables, and I have videos about that as well. So, the, the Duhem-Klein thesis is that test hypotheses as they are a part of a, a system of, a whole system of background um, hypotheses rather than of their own accord. Um, so, we, instead of, t instead of testing them as, a, as isolated um, hypotheses, we need to test them as they are part of a system, or of a background, a system of you know, and, and, and along with their, of the along with their background assumptions. Um, so we have kind of epistemic theory of coherentism, as opposed to foundationalism. In that foundationalism, like Schlick, um, they hold you know they try to um, ground all of science in um, sense data or um, observation, where the coherentists like Duham and Quine, um, they think that uh, knowledge comes from a cohering system of beliefs. Um, so basically, the these guys, um, you know, have the whole epistemic theory of this. Um, so this whole thing is called holism. Um, holism. Is what this is. Is this? It's the, it's the Duhem Quine thesis. It's that we should test hypotheses as they are part of a whole system of background background assumptions, and not by themselves of their own accord. So, um, you know, then you know, I have kind of deductivism and coherentism too here because um, these are possible things. Because we also have the theory of inductivism and philosophy of science, and this doesn't really work with that, so it's either, it's, it's, de, it's de deductivism and co coherentism. So to mention the web of, the web of belief, which comes from Quine, um, pretty much, uh, there's lots of good articles to read about this whole web of belief thing. Uh, uh, one of the best ones is this one right here, the two dogmas of, of empiricism. Um, another one would be posits and, and reality. But there are others as well. Um, there, I believe, I believe there's a book which is called the Web of Belief, which is not too cheap to buy. Um, so this is the whole web here. Um, so in the center here we have mathematics and logic, and on the outside we have observation, and in the middle part we have theories and science, the theoretical stuff, which and in this in this article, he says basically we can 
modify any of it if we have to. Um, we're first going to try to we're first going to try to um, mess with these things, the outside. Um, I mean, I, I guess um, I forget. You know, I forget in what in what order. Quine says that we that we, we, that we should modify this stuff, but basically any of it can be modified, even mathematics and logic, which you know mostly most of the time would be thought of as as you know we can't really we can't really modify this stuff. But um, we first, if I if I recall correctly, we first tried to modify this stuff, the theory and science part, and um, we try to get. A coherent system or or a coherent web of belief, and you know if we can't make a assumption mesh with all of this, or if we or if we can't um, or if if we if we keep on modifying theory and we still can't get lack of con lack of contradiction, then we move towards modifying observation or possibly our our, our mathematics and logic. Um, that's the whole that's the whole thing here. Um, so. Basically, any of this can be, can be modified at one time or another in order to get cohering, a cohering web or, or a cohering system, um, or possibly, um, you know, to, to, to get rid of, of contradictions to make sure that, 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 that everything fits, that fits together. So, um, Duham, um, I forget what that's called, but um, let me get my... This book right here um, is a great book to buy for um, just philosophy science related stuff. Pretty thick anthology here, I would say. Um, it has your Quine, it has your Duham, it has your Kuhn, it has um, basically everything you need to know about philosophy, about philosophy of science, even towards you know philosophy of social sciences. So um, this this was just a little video about uh, about this stuff and. If you have any questions, I, I have various other videos in the philosophy of science as well as as well as epistemology. So uh, you, you you can go to those videos, or if you can, you can comment below, and I would love to discuss with you. Um, and or if you think I've messed something up, or if you think or if you have a problem with the way I've done this, please also also comment. I'd love to dis discuss with you. Thank you.